Hello and welcome. This video is going to cover the centrifugal pump experiment in which we have a pump driven by an electrical motor. It's used to circulate water from the tank then back to the tank. We have some measurement device fitted to this system in order to provide you with details of the flow. We have a suction site pressure we have a flow meter in here, which gives you reading in liter per minute. Always we read the right side of this, which is marked as LPM. And always we read the top of the metal float. We have a discharge side uh, pressure, and we have volume control valve. So that valve, we will be changing it to change the flow rate, and we are going to follow on the LPM steps, which is Q as referred in your sheet. For the electrical side of the pump, we are getting the kilowatt readings in here, which is basically PN, and we are recording the RPM of the motor using this light tachometer. This light tachometer basically sends a light signal, and whenever it gets reflected back, it gives you a reading. So, we place a reflector inside here, there is a cooling fan for the motor at this side. We fixed just one reflector on one of the fins of the fan, which gives us one reflection per rotation. So, as we place this tachometer here while the pump is running, we are going to get RPM reading. However, it is important to make sure that you are holding it at the right angle. Always, you get a small sign at the corner of the screen showing me the device is getting reflection. You want to have this sign available at all time, otherwise you will be getting wrong readings. Now the rated uh, RPM of this pump is around 2800 RPMs. So your readings, let's say, should be between 2,800 and 2,950. If you are getting any other values, it means something wrong. Like if you get 10,000 RPMs or you get 500 RPM, this is a wrong reading. So you should hold this uh, tachometer carefully in here and always look to the reflection sign. Now I'm going to switch on the pump. It might get a bit noisy in here. I'll just show you how when we change the flow rate, meter readings will change. Then I will show you, I'll switch off the pump later and will tell you how to fill in your result sheet table. Always before switching on the pump, we need to make sure that the valve in here is totally closed. So we'll switch it on now. Now the pump is running, but there is no water flowing as the valve is closed. Now as I start to open the flow, you can see the flow meter in here will start to rise up and down. And the gauge in there is changing. You are saying to So this is basically it. We are going to switch on the pump. We change the flow rate at fixed steps and record a full set of readings. A full set of readings in here, it should be one complete row. I will start with one by one and tell you where to get these readings from. First column is a Q, which is the flow rate in LPM, liter per minute. We get this reading from here, and this is, will be our increment. We'll change it using the flow control valve in there, and always we'll have fixed steps of that. Next is PS, 
which is suction side pressure. We get it from this pressure gauge and always we take it in bar. Bar is the black scale on here, the outer scale, and this gauge reading is in negative, being a suction. PD, which is discharge pressure, we get from this gauge here. Again, we read the black scale and bar. This is going to be in positive. RPM, we get it using this tachometer by placing it in one of the parameters holes in the Now, next two columns, which is hydraulic power and head, we are going to calculate them separately based on the measurements before. So, you can do this later. Volts, volts are fixed, being supplied from the grid and the main uh, electricity. Current, we have a um, clam meter back here, which I will include a photo of it for you. However, we, as we record the current, we are recording this Pn as well, in kilowatt. Efficiency will be calculated value. Temperature, we are getting temperature from this thermometer in here. And at the end, we are getting Ns. Ns is a calculated value, which uh, uh, your sheet is providing you with theoretical functions in order to calculate all these calculated values. So this is basically it. You will need to be careful while doing this experiment as it deals with water and have electricity connection in it. So always if you see a water leak, inform a number of staff and switch off the experiment.